joyfully welcomes those who will be received into the order of catechumens. In the months to come, the catechumens will prepare for their initiation into the Christian faith by baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. And we also welcome those who were already one with us by baptism, who now wish to complete their Christian initiation through confirmation and Eucharist, and those who wish to be received into full communion with the Catholic faith. And for all of these, we give thanks, and we give praise to God, who has led them by various paths into this place and a oneness with the Catholic faith. We invite you, our catechumen, those who are seeking baptism, to come forward with your sponsor as I call your name. Gabrielle Bivens. Heather Clifford. Erica Cook. Charles Henderson. Kay Henderson, Keith Shores, Matt Wittek. Dear brothers and sisters, this is eternal life, to know the one true God and Jesus Christ, whom God has sent. Christ has been raised from the dead and appointed by God as the Lord of life and the ruler of all things, seen and unseen. If then you wish to become the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ and members of this parish, you must be guided to the fullness of the truth which has been revealed to us. You must learn to make the mind of Christ your own mind. You must find the places of contradiction in your life and repent and begin to make changes along with us, along with all of us. You must strive for a pattern of your life that is based on the teachings of the gospel and so to love the Lord your God and your neighbor and truth and goodness and beauty. For this was Christ's command and he and he was its perfect example for us. And so, is each of you ready to accept these teachings of the gospel? I am. I'm going to ask you to say that all together much louder. Are you willing to accept these teachings of the gospel? I Thank you. My dear catechumens, this anointing with oil symbolizes your need for God's help and strength so that the faith that you profess you can be strengthened and so to live it with your whole lives. And so, Deacon Bill and I will now announce you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. And may he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. We invite our candidates to come forward, those who are already baptized and who seek full communion with the Catholic Church or seek to complete your initiation through confirmation and Eucharist. Will the candidates for full communion please come forward with your sponsor as I call your name? Kelly Critfield, Jane Lantaff, Hugh Mao, Jonathan Ross, Ashley Sedlin, Jesse Sellen. Chloe Mao, Connor Mao, Hallie Ann Falk, Neri Hernandez, Julio Hernandez, Dalia Gonzalez, Bianca Gonzalez, Christopher Casares Ibarra, Juan Casares Ibarra, Nayeli Gonzalez Convarubias, Brandon Gonzalez Covarubias.
This is what new life in the church looks like. Those of you who seek to complete your Christian initiation or to be received into full communion with the Catholic Church, are you prepared? Are you prepared, I say to you, to listen to the Apostles' instruction, gather with us for prayer, and join with us in love and service to one another? Amen. Let me hear it strongly. One, two, three. Let me hear it in Spanish. How do you say I? Say Thank you. And now I would like to say to our sponsors, you who now present these catechumens and these candidates to us, are you also, along with all of us who are gathered here, are we also ready to help these candidates and catechumens to follow Christ? We are. Father of mercy, we thank you for these, your servants, that you have sought them and you have summoned them in many ways, and they have traveled a long journey to come to us. And they have turned also to seek you for a deeper life. You have called them today, and they have answered to your presence, and we accept them with great joy in our hearts. And so I want to say now to our catechumens and candidates, receive the sign of your new way of life. As I pray, the sponsors will sign you with the sign of the cross. Sponsors, are you ready? So catechumens and candidates, I say to you, receive the cross on your forehead. It is Christ himself who now strengthens you with the sign of love and receive the sign of the cross on your ears so that you may hear the voice of the Lord. And receive the sign of the cross on your eyes that you may see the glory of God. And receive the sign of the cross on your heart that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. And receive the sign of the cross on your shoulders that you may bear the gentle yoke of Christ. And receive the sign of the cross on your hands, that Christ may be known in the works that you do. And receive the sign of the cross on your feet, that you may walk in the way of Christ. You have been marked with the cross of Christ. Receive now the sign of Christ's love. 